Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry building techniques and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. In this step, we're going to join the S4B stage to the booster stage. Um, for this, you're going to need your ruler and you're going to need a launch rod, a quarter inch launch rod, so that you can align things. Uh, you also need a pencil and some wood glue. Um, our first step is to mark on here how much of the tubes are going to be exposed. So these are going to go inside and you're only going to see part of it. Um, so you want to mark 10 and 15 six inches from this point right here, you know, right where the transmission meets the tube. Okay, so I'm going to measure from there upwards, 10 and 15 sixteenths, which is right under um, 10 and a half inches. So right there. Uh, then we're going to stick this inside, and you do have to squeeze the tubes a little bit to get them started. Just got to get them over that lip. Feel around till you get them started. Okay, then they're going. And here's my mark right there. So I'm going to push them down. This one doesn't want to go. It's this tube right here. There we go. There we go. All right, so there's the mark. And then I want to rotate it around so that my launch lugs. They're in the right spot, and then gently push it together. Okay, and then we're going to put the launch lug, the launch rod through to make sure that they're aligned and sight down there to make sure that they're aligned. Like that. Okay. And then we're going to put glue on the inside of the centering ring down there. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the end of the, the rod as a dowel. Always Always keep it spinning so it doesn't have time to drip on you. And stick it down in there and put it around the where the inside tube makes the centering ring. Okay, now you also need to temporarily install this centering ring inside um, because the tube could be bent, so you know the back end um, could be down. So we'll stick this inside, put it over the centering ring, or just like that. And we're just going to let this dry. Um, we want to make sure it's completely dry before we do anything else. So, uh, so well, that's it. So we'll go on to the next step. <laughs> the glue is now dry, um, so I can pull out this front centering ring. And I'm going to re-glue it back in. Um, I should have just left it in there. Um, so when you put this in, just put it on the, just over the lip of the 
uh, motor mount tube on the inside. And then we're going to put glue around that on the inside and the outside. Oop, that came out. So I'm going to just dribble it in, trying to keep it off the shock cords as much as possible. I'm just kind of dribbling it in and I'm going to smooth it out with a wood dowel. Now it's a real mess, but I'll just take the dowel and just smooth out the edges. We'll let that dry and then we'll move on to the next step.